Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Aquarius for March 2011. This also applies if you have an Aquarian ascendant. So my Aquarians, this month, Venus is in your sign all month. So this is going to be a month for really getting your own way. Anything you want, you're going to come over charming, personable, anything that you're wanting in the financial arena, if you're looking for jobs, if you're looking for work, if you're looking for a relationship, all of these things should be favourably starred for you this month because of Venus being in your sign. It's also potentially favourable for you financially as well, because I know many of you Aquarians have certainly been having some financial ups and downs to say the least. Now, with Saturn in this ninth house, at least until October of next year. Many of you have either been learning something very serious, teaching a serious topic um, to people, maybe at university level, but also it's a time when many of you maybe have wanted to travel a lot. There's always a desire to travel very often when Saturn is in this ninth house. Often this means traveling spiritually, expanding your horizons and your mind and what it is that you're interested in not necessarily taking lots of trips. Now it's very good for business travel. If you're going to do it for traveling on business and you'll be paid for the travel, that's great. But I had um, a friend, for example, she has this aspect in her chart um, and she went off to India for several weeks, not having a whole lot of money really to do it with and then came back to a whole lot of financial issues and it took her a long time to build herself up again because she'd just been on a vacation for several weeks without really thinking carefully the consequences of spending all that money on a holiday and how difficult it might be to rebuild her business. So if you are thinking of vacations and holidays, which you may be doing, make sure that you are not going into debt and you are not overextending yourself in order to have this holiday and break because we've got a lot of planets this month, particularly in your house of finance and money. And for the first three weeks, there should be a light shining on your financial situation. In fact, on the 9th of March, we've got Uranus conjunct Mercury in your second house, which is a great day for ideas connected to your business or connected to making money. Great, idea, great day for studying, coming up with radical ideas something that you think, oh, not sure if we could do this, but maybe we should try. And you are an ideas person. Aquarius, your ruling planet, this month on the 12th of March, changes sign. This should be a big shift for you because this, as I said, it's your ruling planet, so you are affected by Uranus. And Uranus has gone out of the wishy-washy sign of Pisces and it's into Aries and it's coming into your third house. So for you, my Aquarians, this should mean a great time for anything connected with communications, anything connected with science, with technology, with computing, with networking, anything in these fields, with also meeting people around you, making connection with your community, with your neighbours, connecting in more. Also looking at ways in which maybe you can help your community and the people around you, or at least get involved with things in your community more that may be quite fulfilling for you. But it's a wonderful time for learning, a wonderful time for studying, a wonderful time for teaching. For those of you that coach, that train other people, this is a great month for putting out your business in a new way. You need to be more innovative. And Aquarians, yeah, we know you're one-offs, but you need to be putting this more into your life. As, as Uranus comes into Aries, expect your brain to become awakened. Expect yourself to feel as though you need more freedom and more freedom is going to come from you extending your skills, extending what you know about so that you can earn more money because you've got more things, more services, more products maybe that you can offer in order to make more money. As well, on the 14th of March, we've got a very nice aspect between Venus and Saturn. So this could be a very good day for business for you. If you want to get a business deal going, if you've got an agreement you want to put together, if you want to appeal to somebody and have them uh, say yes to you, this would be a very good date for you. Um, 
we've got the 21st to the 23rd, the sun is conjunct Uranus in your third house. So this is going to be a great day for communicating ideas. Anything where you need to share something with someone. And it also could be a day where you meet somebody interesting, who you meet on the intellectual level. That could be a friend, that could lead to something more. But at this, at this point, I would keep it more on a friendship level until you get to know somebody a little bit better. Because we know you Aquarians, you can get into things quickly, especially if there's other fire signs in your chart. I know I have clients, I have to rein them back so they haven't got involved in something that they later think, oh, I wish I hadn't got too involved. Allow yourself fluidity. Allow yourself space. This is not a time to be rash with finances. It's not a speculative time. Uranus in Aries is going to make you want to be speculative. Take a risk. Chance it to make it big, to get a big break. This is not the month to do it. In fact, it's not the next few months to do it, um, but certainly not this month. So uh, finally, the last week of the month, Neptune can choke Venus in your first house. So um, you're going to want to be idealistic. You're going to want to see things just in a perfect light. You're going to want to see your relationships like that, even yourself. Um, you're not going to want to see your faults or any lessons that you might need to be learning. Be aware try not to sweep things under the carpet and try to be aware of how you're coming over and how you're acting and how you're speaking to people and how you are particularly in your relationships and whether you're seeing your relationships for what they are and whether maybe you're ascribing characteristics to people with whom you relate that are just not there because next month it could come down to earth with a big bump mercury goes to uh, retrograde on the 30th of the month so get any important meetings contract signed before the 30th because it's retrograde till the 22nd of April and I'll talk more about that next month. So there you have it my Aquarians, I wish you a great month. For those of you that haven't seen it, new feature on my website, you can get a free astrology chart. All you need to enter is your date, time and place of birth and it will bring up the wheel and it will show you where your ascendant is for those of you who don't know and your moon. And you might want to look at where these are and look at the monthly videos and see which ones resonate the most for you. So I wish you a great month and I thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.